It's my third time to Fort Chip now. Every time I go there, I find that my love for the community deepens. I mean, the tour is like most of our tours. We want to go empower youth to express their stress to the arts. The difference with this community is that if you were to look at unity as a whole, you know, it's not really our goal to be in more reserved communities. Um, our relationship with Northern Alberta has sort of grown organically out of some of the partnerships that we've been exploring over the years. I'm usually pretty excited to smaller, more rural communities like Fort Chip, just because I know I'm gonna be reaching out to people who may not ever get the opportunity to, to get that kind of experience from what we're doing. I've been to Fort Chip a number of times, and the very last time I was there, they weren't really having it. And so I didn't know if it was me at the time, like I didn't have proper techniques to engage them. So going to Fort Chip this time, I was like, this is gonna be interesting. Like, how will they take me this time? Because I am going with a totally different group. And on this trip, you really, really have to focus not only your mental energy, but just yourself within your being, because our whole goal is to sort of pull them in while we're out there. <laughs> you guys are band or something? We work for an arts-based charity. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we've been uh, doing some work with Fort Chip, like helping the youth express themselves through the arts. Yep, yeah, so we have a graffiti artist. Yeah. We have a beatboxer. Um, cool. Break dancing, hip-hop dancing, nice. MCing. I've heard about Unity from one of our board, our youth board directors, uh, Evangeline Cardinal, and she brought Unity's voice, Unity's message back to our community, back to the board of directors, and she would not give up on it. Every board meeting, she kept sharing how good Unity was, how good Unity was. One alias is the vessel clogger who aims to block well. Earthy beings address me as the verbal sickle cell. You shipped and fell from overexposure of the L. You know, the youth are going to test you in a whole different way than you get tested in the inner cities because they're dealing with a whole set of issues issues and circumstances and obstacles and stress that is foreign to our situation. The history of where hip-hop comes from, it comes from youth whose culture was taken from them. So in that, we can relate to it so much with being stripped from our homes, displaced, just like the kids in New York, the history behind their history, you know? And so I think that's why a lot of First Nations youth are attracted to hip-hop culture because we share those similarities. The youth that we've discovered in, within our own school, the beatboxers, are amazing. We didn't even know they could do that. I'm not even sure they knew they could do that. respond in a really positive way. One thing I'm extremely proud of being a part of is Unity's contact with our elementary kids right from kindergarten all the way to grade 5. Now I need you to go <laughs> Now I need you to go blah. <laughs> now I need you to go <laughs> Alright, good. Warmed up. Now we're going to do three basic Our younger sounds. children do watch our older children and this is, has been such a positive influence. <laughs> Make some noise! One, two, three, get down! Alright, hold on a second. Everybody get in a circle. Alright, I say three, y'all say the two and the one. Three! Two, one, one! Get down! Who's first? It's you! Create the environment of uh, 
sharing and, and exchanging cultures, not necessarily us going in to show them our culture and that's it. And to add to that, we go beyond just the craft. We teach them skills that can be transferred into life through the sharing of our story and through the technicalities of the art forms that they're learning. They know what we're bringing to the table and the community starting to embrace us. I really, really loved on this trip when we did the school dance, which brought out a whole bunch of people to the community that had never really seen us, as well as the final potluck. Yeah, yeah. If you're feeling good, say, oh yeah. oh yeah. On behalf of myself and all of the Unity Charity team, we want to thank you once again. There's been a lot of great supporters, but a lot of you know that we wouldn't even be in Fort Chippewan if it wasn't for Miss Banjo. So can we give Miss Banjo a round of applause? I, I was beyond ecstatic with the way Fort Chip went this time. All the feedback has been enormously positive. We have two more visits left this year, uh, and we're really looking forward to it. Yeah.